Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you. Hi. I took a, an 11 shot panorama on a beautiful moonlit cloudless sky and added a storm and I want to show you how. So firstly, in Bridge, as you can see I've got 11 photos here. I do Tools, Photoshop, Panorama, select all the options and hit OK. And then what it does is it blends them all in nicely. So the first thing to do when you've done that is to flatten the image because we don't want all of this noise. Then we're going to duplicate it. The image looks good, but the horizon's bent. I'm going to fix that using Puppet Warp. So I do Edit Puppet Warp. I put three drops on the horizon, one on the left, one on the right, one in the middle. And then I just simply lower them down, drag them down until the horizon is nice and flat. Just move this one down a little bit, this one up a little bit. There we go, that looks pretty straight to me, but there's some stuff I don't like where the joins are. So I'm going to go into the Liquify tool. I'm going to set my brush size to be enormous. This is the push thing up here on the left hand side, you can see. And I'm just going to push the horizon down and I'm going to lift it up here. Just tiny little adjustments to make it completely die straight. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now it's clearly not level, so under the dropper here there is a ruler tool, nicely hidden. Select that and we will draw a line, this will show us how level our horizon was, that's yeah, not so bad. And then we'll do edit, image, rotate, it'll tell us how much, we hit OK and the image was now straight. The horizon is as level as the way it was when the planet was made. Alright, now let's do some cropping. Let's pull this down. We've got the no crop dimensions. We've got no pixels, so it's not going to uh, re, uh, reprocess the image. We're just going to throw away all the stuff we don't want. That looks pretty good. I'm going to pull the top down so I can obey the rule of thirds on the horizon. And that looks great. Now, this bit's going to mess with your head. I am about to change what I actually photographed. A lot of people think this is wrong. But over here on the left, I have Steven, Steven's big head in the way. So I'm going to select it with the tool. I'm going to do Edit Content Aware Fill. And it's just going to make up stuff that wasn't there. And there you go. It kind of got it wrong. That tree's in the way, so I'll do it again. Edit, content aware fill. And I just repeat this until everything's... Now, the bit at the bottom that's left, I don't think I can get rid of on content aware. So I'm going to use the clone tool. Select a really nice soft brush. Holding down the option key, select some of this fern, and then just paint it in. Now remember, no one knows what was there, so no one knows whether you're cheating or not. I'm going to put some of this nice heather in here. Now I want to keep the wood, so I'm just going to paint around the edge of that, and then just to be really careful, what I'm going to do now is just take this barrier, just, let me just finish this little bit here. All right, so I'm going to do this little, all right. Yeah, that's okay. Right, I'm going to sample the edge of the barrier, I'm going to move the mouse alone along a little bit and I'm going to click and drag and release and click and drag and release, click and drag and release, click and drag and release, click and drag and release. There you go. Now the only people who will know that's fake are you, me and everyone you tell. So let's not tell anyone, shall we? I think that looks pretty good. Now, the sky. Bring up the mini browser. Here's some clouds that I photographed on a much uh, different day. I take it across, I drag it on, I bring it down, match the horizon roughly, doesn't have to be about right. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Uh, okay, fit that to the window. Now there are lots of people who will tell you you have to do all sorts of fancy selections and you'll do all sorts of cunning stuff to match the horizon and the trees and I don't want to do any of that. I'm just going to change the blend mode over here to screen and it's going to go away. Now, put a mask on it, do the gradient fill, and drag it up. And remember, the horizon you lose details on, so we just paint the horizon out with a fill. Let's keep doing that again, that wasn't quite right. Yeah, that doesn't look bad, that actually looks like it blends in nicely. It doesn't quite work over the trees, so I'll take a brush again. I will make it nice and soft, make sure it's black, and I'm still on the uh, layer mask, and I'm just going to repaint over these trees. Make sure it's black there. Don't have to go right to the edge. Nature's kind of funny and it hides things and no one's going to look at this picture as closely as you as I said. And we're not printing it out on the size of a bus. So I'm just lift that back up. There. There you go. Now the colors are still a bit wrong but we're going to go for a black and white image anyway. So we had a new layer. This one's called the black and white layer. And there's lots of options. That's actually not bad to start with. We'll uh, We'll try some of these. Just click around looking for one that we quite like 
that one's clearly too bright. That one's clearly too dark. And what have we got here? Yikes. Ah, it's all going wrong. Help, help. There we go. That one doesn't look too bad at all. Um, but it hasn't got all the highlights and saturation we want. So I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to again set it to overlay mode. I'm going to click this little box here that says fill it with gray. Now that didn't do anything. But now if I use the dodge and burn tool, right, this is great because I'm not destroying pixels. Over here on the left, dodge and burn. I'm going to set it to dodge, which makes things lighter. Make sure again, nice soft brush. Just turn down the opacity a little bit so I can have more goes at it. All right, I'm now going to paint in some tide. Just really make the moon bounce off that tide. Look at that, easy. Yeah, I think I screwed up a little bit there. Let me put some on the cliffs. And go across there. And the beach, the beach always needs some. Let's do a bit more there. And I'm just burning away pixels and put a little bit here. But I'm not actually affecting the real image. So if I make a mistake, I can just throw this away and I've done no harm. All right, let me fix that little bit on the ocean where I caused a line. I'm going to go to the burn tool, which will make it darker. Just set the brush size appropriately. And the opacity a little bit higher, nice and soft. I do like soft brushes. I'm going to use the left and right bracket keys to make this brush different size. Paint that in. There we go. All right, I said this was called bringing the storm. So let's bring the storm. Let's make sure that whilst we're going to burn these clouds in, we're going to burn the highlights right out. Just big soft brushes across the sky. Burn that right in. Let's take the mid-tones, take the highlights out, put a bit of the, the low lights in, put some shadows in. Look at that, completely transformed from what it was. And no one will be able to tell you that sky was fake. So it's our secret. You don't tell anyone how you did it. I think that looks pretty good. Now you might want to go a little further and add some curves and adjust some balances, but we're pretty much there. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.